Teachers of Civilization Simran is in the school's basketball team. She had missed her classes today as there was an inter-school basketball tournament. Her best friend Aditi attended all the classes and is telling Simran about the important project given in the social science class. Hi Simran, how was the tournament? We won Aditi, we won. Oh, that's great. But I missed today's social science class. I remember Miss Ritu told that today's class would be very interesting. Was it really interesting? Yes, Simran. Today Miss Ritu told us about the Indus Valley Civilization and has given us a project on the features of the town planning. We have to work in pairs and submit the project in the next class. That's great. Shall we make the project together? Yes, why not? Come, let's start by finding out the history of town planning. Brilliant idea, Simran. Look, let's click on this site. It says, Indus Valley Civilization was the most advanced civilization in the ancient world. And look, it also says that this civilization was known for its spectacular town planning and efficiency because of its well-developed urban centers and buildings that were made of stones and burnt bricks. Look what is written. Many cities were divided into two parts, upper town and lower town. Upper town was to the west and was smaller and higher. Some special buildings were located here. While the lower town was to the east and was bigger and lower, where the houses were laid out in a grid pattern with straight roads running from north to south and east to west cutting at 90 degrees and proper sanitation system. A typical city housed about 40,000 people and some cities were surrounded by high walls. It says one of the largest buildings at Mohenjo-daro was a granary which was used to store surplus grains. Six granaries have been found in Harappa as well. Another impressive structure found at Mohenjo-daro is the Great Bath, similar to a swimming pool layered with bricks and covered with natural tar and bitumen to prevent seepage. People probably used it for religious purposes. It also shows a town hall where the residents of a city gathered to take important decisions probably for religious and administrative purposes. Oh my God! Cities such as Kalibangan and Lothal had fire altars where sacrifices were performed. That must have been scary. Very scary indeed. Let's ask ma'am if we could next do a project on sacrifices. That will be brilliant. You are very smart, Simran. I just try to match up with you first, Ranka. Anyway, let's click on next page and read more. Aye, aye, sir. The lower town comprised houses that had detained architectural planning. The houses were either one or two stories high with one or more rooms. Each house had a bathing area, a kitchen, a circular oven, a mortar and a pestle for grinding spices. The houses had drains that were connected to main drain, which ran on the side of the road and were very deep. The main drains were covered with the slabs of stone, which could be removed for cleaning. The people from Indus Valley were particular and careful about their health and sanitation. The drains from the kitchen and bathrooms were connected to the street drains, which could be covered with slabs of stone that could be removed in order to be cleaned. The drains were closed, but they also had inspection holes at intervals in case they needed cleaning. They also put wooden screens on drains. The drainage system of Harappan cities was one of the best in ancient times. Wow! They were indeed very smart then. Based on grid system, the roads at Harappa were oriented east to west. They ran parallel to each other and were cut at right angles by smaller roads. They were paved with burnt bricks and were rounded off at corners to allow cart traffic to flow smoothly. These people from ancient times are interesting. 
they were very intelligent also simran we are coming mom aditi mom is calling both of us to the dining room i guess we have covered all the topics related to the town planning yes simran now we have to write it down and submit the project oh yes aditi let's eat something then get started with the written work that sounds great simran let's go